This is the last time Leah Croucher was seen walking to work in February 2019. We need your help to find Leah. Have you seen her? Have you spoken to her? Do you know somebody that's spoken to her or has met her? After reviewing 1,200 hours of CCTV footage and conducting 4,000 home inquiries, the extensive search for 19-year-old British teenager Leah Croucher has ended. Leah disappeared in Milton Keynes in 2019 while going to work and remained missing until she was found dead. Human remains found in a loft space at a property in Furston in Milton Keynes where they have been confirmed as the body of Leah Croucher. Leah Croucher was born on August 14, 1999 and lived in Milton Keynes, Buckinghamshire. She worked in a debt collection agency in Knoll Hill. Leah was a quiet person who liked reading fantasy fiction and watching DVDs. She was also a Taekwondo athlete, holding a second damn black belt title and other national and European championships. On the morning of February 15, 2019, at around 8 a.m., Leah left for work. She walked about three kilometers from Quantock Crescent in Emerson Valley towards her workplace, but she didn't get there. In the evening, when Leah didn't return home, Feeling concerned about their daughter, Leah's parents, John and Claire Croucher, reported a missing complaint to the authorities. Thames Valley Police started their investigation and found that Leah was captured on CCTV footage at 8.15 a.m. on the day of her disappearance. She was walking on Buzzacott Lane in Firsten. Her phone went unreachable after 8.34 a.m. The police shared the CCTV images with the public to help find Leah. In the footage, she was wearing a black coat, shiny black jeans, and black Converse high-top shoes and was carrying a small black backpack. Leah's parents also announced a public appeal to find their daughter. They said that they are beside themselves with worry and that their daughter's disappearance is highly unusual. Despite the efforts, Leah was not found. About 50 police officers carefully examined the CCTV footage to find more clues. On March 8, 2019, the police announced that a teenager resembling Leah was captured in the footage around 8.20 a.m. However, the police didn't reveal any confirmation that she was Leah. In April 2019, three witnesses claimed they saw a woman between 9.30 a.m. and 11.15 a.m. near Firston Lake resembling Leah's description. They mentioned that the woman was talking on the phone, appearing angry, upset, and crying. However, the claim proved useless as Leah was not traced. Since then, the authorities have been investigating this case. In October 2019, a deep search was initiated at the Blue Lagoon Nature Reserve in Bletchley. Authorities used helicopters, drones, and search dogs, and inquired around 4,000 homes in the nearby areas. Marine units and dive teams were also involved. Despite two weeks of intensive searching, Leah remained missing. The next month, the Croucher family faced another tragedy. On November 16, 2019, Leah's stepbrother, Hayden Croucher, took his life. His mother, Tracy Furness, said Hayden was consumed with pain and anguish and felt alone and lost after his sister vanished, and he felt he had no other choice than to take his own life. Hayden's therapist also stated that he was finding it hard to come up with the absence of his missing sister. However, Leah's search was going on. On February 14, 2020, Leah's parents publicly appealed for help finding their daughter. During this appeal, Leah's father warned someone he believed had necessary information about Leah. He stated, I know for a fact that there's a certain person out there that is keeping evidence from the police, and it's time for him to give it up now. A year of withholding information, it's not on anymore. I will name him if he doesn't come forward with the necessary information soon. Years have passed, but nothing was revealed about Leah's disappearance. On February 15th, 2022, the police shared a new image captured at Firston Lake when Leah disappeared. It showed a blurry person in a black dress, assumed to be Leah, but no clue was found further. The next month, the police announced that they had found the person spotted walking with a dog near Firston Lake in the footage. Following this, the police hopefully shared more images from the footage to find others who might have information about Leah's disappearance. On October 10, 2022, an unknown person called the police to reach a location in Locksbear Drive in Firston, Milton Keynes, less than two kilometers from Leah's home. After searching the area, the police discovered human remains, along with Leah's backpack and some personal items on October 12th. This led the authorities to start a murder investigation, though the official identification of the remains was still pending. On October 14th, the police declared Neil Maxwell a prime suspect. We have nominated a suspect in this case. His name is Neil Maxwell. Neil a convicted human trafficker had access to the unoccupied house where the remains in Leah's possessions were found. However, police records show that Neil took his life near Campbell Park in April 2019. Leah's parents paid tribute by putting flowers in a note at the Locksbear Drive house. They expressed their grief stating, 
our darkest fears have come true. We only need to be apart a little longer. We have missed you for so long already. We will cherish your memories forever. On October 21st, 2022, an autopsy confirmed that the remains found at Locksbury Drive belonged to Leah, and Leah was officially declared dead by authorities. Senior Investigating Officer Kevin Brown, head of the Major Crime Unit said, The grief and shock of Leah's family and friends is unimaginable, and they have shown enormous courage. Our investigations into Leah's murder will leave no stone unturned, and we owe it to Leah's family to ensure we find the truth. Leah's funeral was held on March 3rd, 2023. The cause of her death is still a mystery. The case is open and investigations are ongoing. Leah's family is being informed about any new developments in the case.